Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is how you can, let's say, just fix your column in a reference rather than fixing a row. So if we, for example, go here to fix a row. So here we have a scenario where we got this current year sales and we're basically assuming a year on year increase. OK, for each of these years here and the amount of the increase is going to be our 10 percent, which is over here. There it is. Right. So what I do is enter a formula here and I just go equals um, and I'm just going to open my bracket. This multiplied by this. Now I'm not going to lock it at the moment. OK, and then plus previous years. And that gives me 220. Now, if I copy it across. You can see there, well, we have a, an issue straight away. So what we can do, the first thing we can do here, I always think this is like a good starting point. All right, I'm just going to delete that formula again. And I just go equals and then open my brackets. Uh, this multiplied by this. And then if I just press F4 or if you're on a laptop, you might need to press function and F4, which is the FN key plus F4. And then uh, this one here plus this one. Now that's a little bit better, so just want to copy it across. Those numbers are a bit better, but again, I just need to, let's say, highlight my columns here. And if I just do a double click up here with my double headed arrow, double headed axe, that widens the column. So that looks more like it. The problem is, though, is that I then basically have to do the same thing down here. And then I need the formula again for this one and this one for light and heat. You know, for administration materials and wages okay so a more effective way to do it is basically is to lock the column reference okay so and again i'm just going to do this for the cells marked in gray so I'll just click here equals and then open my brackets this multiplied by this now what i do at this point is i then press my f4 until it reads dollar a4 and again if you're using a laptop you may have to press your function f4 key until you get that and that basically says let the rows references change the four change as they copy it but not the column reference okay all right and then when i copy this across and the difference is now that i can copy it down now, what I can also do at this point is I could just do a copy and paste. So I could just go Control and C and then click here, do Control and V, press my escape key. And then when I copy this down, see it adjusts the numbers automatically. Now, if you look here in the administration and in the wages, see that we have a minus and that's actually reflected here in our numbers. So again, um, as I kind of mentioned in the blog post, this is a really useful way to get as much flexibility around your formulas as possible. And then for the net sales, what I need to do here is I need to just go equals sales minus credit notes, press enter. And then when I click here for this one, I don't need to do any F4 or anything else. All I need to do is just basically copy it across. There we go. That works fine. Again, I just need to highlight all my columns. And if I just double click on any of them here, it comes up. And then for this, this other one here, this has a total. So I just go up to my trusty friend, auto sum. Press enter. And again, just copy it across. And then for the last bit there, which is profit, which is equal to uh, net sales minus total press enter and again just drag that across as well again if you think why would you bother your barney with all that if i think for example that my sales are going to increase by 20 percent i'm very optimistic press 20 and watch what happens to all the numbers all the changes ripple through and all the other changes ripple through as well i'm just going to change it back to 10 percent uh, now, I hope you find this useful. As always, the file will be there for you to practice on and um, mind yourself and enjoy. Take care. Bye.